Hello everyone, Geobreak is out and in this video I will show you how to use this really really cool um, Geonode modifier. As you can see you can fracture object in real time with this modifier. It's really really cool and useful. Okay, first thing to do. Um, for this demo I will use a cube and a coffee cup. Okay. Move this in Z axis. Okay. Uh, enable ray tracing. No. Not. Uh, mm, okay. Bon. Go in Edit, Preferences, File Path, and now you can create a new asset library. Okay. For me, I have this. I will use this. Okay. You can open the asset browser. And now you can go, you can select the file you create where you um, select the, the folder contains the, uh, the, the modifier. Okay. For me, it's this add on tab or the current file. Okay. So I just, you just have to drag and drop on the object you, you want to uh, apply the modifier. Hop. Now you can add. Um, a new object, for example, a cube mesh, and add the brush, and use the brush for have this um, ah not uh, uh, level division. Use the distance to edge. Okay, now you have this. You can disable the shadow on this object, of this object, okay, disable this, and convert this object to transparency. You can move this hair, okay, I will close this tab, and, um, okay. Okay. Now, on this object, you can select the cube, it's there, and now you can enable fracture, and if you press, press play, you can see this, the object is now fractured, and you can enable smoke, to have smoke. To have a better quality of smoke, you can... Um, in this part of the of Blender property, go on sampling and enable shadow and volume shadow. In this in volume part, increase this value by default. You have this. You can use, for example, this. Okay. And for me, on the modifier section, you can go on smoke and increase distribution. We have this. And you can play with the scale here of this. Or if you want, you can use the. Um, by default, you have the normal emission. You can use the position emission and have this result. As you can see, density is. I do this and play with this you can see uh, well okay I three you have this result okay this is really really cool and in real time So you can, um, if you want, you can synchronize the inside color of the mesh with the smoke by enable this. Okay. You can display the uh, the mesh and play with the subdivision smooth uh, or size. You want to anima animate with particle. 
in apply section when you apply you you can you don't uh, volume is not supported not supported for apply okay but you can apply the uh, the mesh the particle mesh okay um, sorry sorry guy for my bad English I do my best okay and um, uh -uh. reset reset uh, size okay and now you can in the here you can play with the stretch with the coverage and custom if you if you want you can use your own custom object for volume okay set your object and in app custom in this part you can select switch on global fracture you have this or use the targeted fracture for animation you can use the frame position for example start to frame 20 now the animation start to this frame here is for the um, the fracture element location translation and here the rotation if you did have this you can use now the gravity for the animation and and you can um, you can use this you can use this for example for move the uh, the element okay um, okay 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 and for the smoke you can use the explode mode or the flow mode so mode you have this continue smoke you can disable the part of the smoke you want okay and um, the speed the limit impact rotation speed and um, okay your up if you want you can Add subdivision or uh, H split on your mesh directly and solidify. Or well, the demo is better with the cube object. I will show you with this. And up in cut, you can disable this factory area object uh, and enable, for example, solidify to have this. Okay. And subdivision of this result and play with age and vertex and a smooth you can exclude inside to have this okay and this you can add the um, damage on age and surface okay age and surface Okay. In this part, you can play with the um, with the shading, for example. Here you have. Ah, sorry. A low wireframe, medium, or eight. And in this part, you have the um, you have the material combined, custom, or default. Okay. 
and uh, voila and in this this section you can control the um the mesh info you can track the camera okay show in real time the part and uh, voila okay now with all this element i think you can um, and start use this modifier okay if you want you can apply apply for example up in up this and apply and now you have this object, this fractured object. Okay. Ah, I forget to disable. Hop, Ctrl Z. The. Um, ah, the, 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 the smoke. Okay. Is up the smoke. Now you can apply and have this. Okay. Okay. And now if you select all and press P, you have this actual object. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. In next video, I will show you how to do more. Bye-bye.